Hi everyone, it's Ray from Why We Nature Connections with your weekly Thursday Nature Challenge. Ironically, I am filming this week's Nature Challenge inside instead of on my porch because it turns out they're jackhammering on my street today, literally right next to my apartment building. So I put up some nature-themed artwork instead. Something you might have seen on the news recently is that even in the midst of this global pandemic, there are also stories of hope and resilience from around the world. A lot of the other living beings that we share this planet with are actually doing really well now that they have a little breathing room. Pollution levels are going down, lakes and rivers are getting cleaner, um, and there's so many more hopeful and inspiring stories from nature. There is so much chaos and uncertainty and fear right now, but there's also an opportunity to look forward and ask how we want our future to look different from our past and present. This moment in history is inviting us to build new kinds of relationships, including the personal relationships that we have with nature and all of the living and non-living beings that we share this planet with. No matter how much or how little you already feel connected with nature, this is a chance to deepen and strengthen that relationship and keep finding new stories of hope and beauty and strength and resilience in that connection. So the nature challenge this week is one that is deeply personal. Find a spot where you can be with nature, whether that's in a local park or just sitting on your front store doorstep, bring a journal with you, and in whatever form of writing feels good to you, poetry or stories or journaling or whatever, engage in some loving and gentle and patient inquiry with yourself. I invite you to explore a couple different questions. How can we live in right relationship with all the beings we share this planet with? What wisdom is nature trying to share with us in this moment? What role do each of us play in fighting for a healthy future for the entire planet? These are big questions with big heart expanding answers that are different for every one of us. They're also some of the most important questions we can ask as we decide what kind of future we want for ourselves and our planet. So with that, I send you all lots and lots and lots of love and I hope that you have a beautiful day.